In this video, we present arthroscopic internal press augmentation with the arthroscopic modified prostrom operation for chronic ankle instability. This slide shows the strategy for chronic ankle instability. The required operative procedure is usually divided based on the quality of the remnant ligament. If the remnant ligament quality is good, repair, such as the prostrom procedure is selected. If the ligament ligament quality is suspected to be compromised, augmentation, such as by the good method, is added to the ligament repair. If remnant ligament quality is poor, ligament reconstruction is selected. Currently, an artificial ligament called internal brace is used for augmentation of the ankle lateral collateral ligament. This ligament is usually pressed by the open surgery. In this study, we present a new arthroscopic internal press augmentation technique with arthroscopic modified brostrum operation for chronic ankle instability. The patient is placed in the supine position, standard anteromedial, anterolateral, and axial anteromedial arthroscopic portals are used for this procedure. First, a teras anchor hole is created medial to the teras footprint of the ATFL. The fibra footprint is refreshed using an arthroscopic bar. A fibra anchor hole is created. An 18 gauge needle with a narrow loop is inserted into the center of the ATFL and CFL complex. The loop of the narrow is picked up through the accessory anterolateral portal, and the suture relay is performed from the narrow loop to a suture tape loop. The tape is picked up subcutaneously through the accessory anterolateral portal. We use the locking hitch knot to capture the ligament strongly. G18 gauge needle with a narrow loop is inserted just in front of the fibra anchor hole from the lateral side. And the narrow loop is picked out from the axial anterolateral portal. The tape that captures the ligament is inserted into the outlet of the nautilus anchor with an artificial ligament. Next, this anchor is inserted onto the fibra. And the tape is cut. The suture relay is performed from the narrow loop to the artificial ligament. At this time, this artificial ligament runs outside of the capsule. By this procedure, both ATFL and CFL ligament are fixed onto the fibra. The artificial ligament is passed into the outlet of the northwest anchor. The anchor is inserted onto the terrace with desired tension. Finally, the remnant ligament tails are cut. The ligament fiber direction in the modified wood method is different from that of the ATFL, but that of the internal brace is the same as that of the ATFL. Moreover, breaking strength of the internal brace is stronger than that with the good method. Hence, the internal brace should provide reasonable augmentation of the remnant ligament. 